A brilliant assortment of Derby Day bonnets added even more sparkle to the Epsom scene on a glorious day, which was to provide one of the most exciting races of all time. A huge crowd soaked up the sunshine, while in the paddock, the Queen inspected the cream of the world's three-year-olds. Sir Ivor, five to four on favourite. Ben Roy, 150 to one. Floriana, 200 to one. Remand, four to one. At 100 to nine, Connell. And at 100 to eight, Laureate. Those were some of the runners. Now it was the turn of the riders, small men with the biggest skill in the profession. Headed for Torpid, the 25 to 1 shot, Jockey Starkey. Willie Carson in Lord Derby's colours. Joe Mercer riding Riman. In black with a scarlet cap, the owner colours of Connaught, Andy Barclay. Bill Rickaby paired with Floriana. Society's jockey, W. Williamson. Paul Cook teamed with first-rate pirate, a 200-to-one outsider. And, of course, Lester Pickett and Sir Ivor, the greatest team ever to race in a derby. Between them, their reputations had made them odds-on favourites, the biggest certainty for years. So the scene was set for the 189th Derby Stakes. Up at the starting stalls, the 13 runners. Frankie Durr on Royal Rocket. And keeping, oh so calm, Lester Pickett. Mr Marsh, the starter, was anxious to get them away. It was approaching 3.35. Loading the highly strung field into the starting stalls went off without a hitch. Only seconds now separated the runners and riders from the off. In the lead and setting a good early pace was Ben Roy as they raced up the hill. Tucked in close behind were Connors, Laureate, Society and Remar. Coasting in eighth place was Sir Ivor. At the back of the field was first-rate park. Tattenham Corner, the Derby's vital curve. Now the pace was hotting up. Ben Roy still had the lead, but overhauling fast was Connaught, clear of society, Atopolis, Laureate, Remand and Survivor. At the five furlong mark, it was Connaught from Society, Atopolis, Laureate, Remand, and Sir Ivan. Connaught had opened up a clear lead. Laureate and Atopolis couldn't stay with him. Remand and Society fought gamely, but couldn't catch him. There was only one horse that could do it as they entered the final furlong, Sir Ivan. Watch Lester Pigott urge him into a fantastic burst of speed which shot him to the front. Sir Ivor streaked ahead to pass the post a length and a half clear of Connell. If ever a horse and jockey deserved to be in the winner's enclosure, they were certainly Sir Ivor and Lester Pigott. Together they had provided one of the greatest, most thrilling races that has ever been seen. May 29, 1968, will long be remembered as one of Britain's greatest days of sport. A day for winning cups. 